What's up everybody? In this video, we are going to write a serial input to the Arduino using a node red program. Being able to write data to the Arduino means that we can take interactions and data and send it to a circuit. In order for the node red program to work properly, you need to ensure you have completed the previous video and uploaded the sketch to the Arduino. The sketch reads a serial input and turns an LED on or off if a 1 or 0 is sent. Also, make sure the Arduino IDE is closed when you complete this video. Only one application can connect to and read the Arduino serial at once. Ensure you have Node Red running and open it in a browser. You should see our previous flow we created. Click the plus and create a new flow. Double click on flow 1. Change the name to Serial Write. In the description, put created by and enter your name. Click done. Double click on the flow created from the previous video and delete it. In the previous flows, we used a serial in that was to read data. This time, we are going to use a serial out to write data. Drag a serial out onto the workspace. Double click the serial out. Node Red should remember your Arduino from the previous flows. It will show up under the serial port. Click done. Drag an inject node and a debug node onto the workspace. Connect the inject node to the serial out and to the debug node. Double click the inject node. Change the name to LED on. Update the msg.payload. Click the drop down arrow and change the value to a number and enter 1. Click done. Click deploy. Try clicking on the inject node. You will see the LED on the breadboard turn on and the number one shows up in the debug window. Cool, we just wrote data to the Arduino from Node Red. Let's add an off button. Copy and paste the LED on inject node using Control plus C, then Control plus V. Double click on the copy. Change the name to LED off and change the value to zero. Click done. Connect the LED off node to the serial out and debug nodes. Click Deploy. Try clicking on the LED on or LED off inject nodes. You will see the LED on the breadboard turn on or off, and the number 1 or 0 shows up in the debug window. Let's create a dashboard element so we can turn on and off the LED with a visual website. Drag a switch from the nodes to your workspace. Connect the switch to the debug node. Double click the switch node. For the group, Click the down arrow and select Add New Dashboard Group and click the pencil. Enter the name LED and click Add. Change the label to Digital LED. Click Done. Click Deploy. Open two browser windows so you can see the dashboard and view the debug window at the same time. Click on the switch and you will see in the debug window a value of True when the switch is on and a value of False when the switch is off. We need a value of 1 or 0 to turn the LED on or off. Double click on the switch node. Under the when click send, you will see that it is sending a true or false value. We will need to update this to a 1 or 0 so our LED will turn on or off. In the on payload, click the down arrow and change the value to a number and 1. For the off payload, click the down arrow and change the value to a number and 0. Click done. Drag a connection from the switch node to the serial out. Click Deploy and open the UI. Click on the switch and you will see the LED on the breadboard turn on and off. One last thing. You may have noticed that your dashboard switch and the LED on the breadboard can be out of sync at the start of testing. To fix this, we will create and send a default button value using an inject node. Drag an inject node onto the workspace. Connect the inject node to the digital LED switch node. Double click the inject node. Change the name to default switch value. Next to the payload, click the down arrow and select the number and change it to zero. Click the X next to the message.topic to delete it. Last, click the checkbox next to the inject once after 0.1 seconds. This will automatically pass the value when we load the flow. Click done. Deploy your flow and you will see the switch is off on your dashboard and the LED is off on your breadboard. At the end of this video, 
you should be able to create a dashboard switch that writes serial data from node red to the Arduino when clicked.